Lord, here I go again Getting all personal with the flow again Quit my job, all hell yeah, I'm broke again Still I'm fly with it, walking and they know it's him Hands tied, hands tied, throw your hands high If you can't sleep, trying to understand why You got these dreams, but you taking a beat And you see the stars in the sky, but you can't seem to reach them Yo, I'm just trying to find the answer Finally winning, but they ain't giving me credit They trying to treat me like the Panthers Still trying to make it, yo, I gotta blow faster Granny getting old, got family fighting cancer Dreaming of a smile the day when I go hand her Keys to a crib to live like she a chance This Pat is dope, but I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina with Jay also 704 states from North Carolina, what up? So you're not officially from Charlotte. Nah. You're from a smaller town. Right. You know, you said it's really nothing there. Speak on that town and how it basically inspired you and, you know, got you to be the artist that you is today. Alright, so Statesville, North Carolina is a little bit of North Charlotte. Uh, really nothing too much there, man, and that really gave me the inspiration I needed as far as wanting to get out and explore more. Because over there, there's not much inspiration, man. There's not much leaders. And I just had to get out and find something bigger for myself. I see all those things on TV like, damn, I got to get there one day. And that basically translates into my music. You can hear it all throughout my tape, hands tied, uh, the fact that I'm just a small town kid with big city dreams. For sure. For sure. Let's talk about that scene where you opened the interview up with. It was dope. It kind of caught me off guard. I didn't really, you know, know what type of style you was going to hit me with. Right. But it was like, it was, it was, it was personal right. and lyrical at the same time. Explain it. Alright, so that was the title track, Hands Tired of the Mixtape, and it, the, the theme of that basically comes from the fact that, you know, we from North Carolina, a uh, small town kid once again, and it just felt like we didn't have the opportunities everybody was blessed with. So it felt like my hands were tied because I'm trying to chase these dreams, and I just got a lot of obstacles ahead of me. I was talking about stuff as far as family, as far as having jobs, as far as being a student. Um, a bunch of things that were just in the way of trying to chase my dreams. So that's where that record came from. It's actually a, a Talib Kweli beat, so shout out to Just Blaze on that. Um, and yeah, that's what came out of that. All right, before we get into inspirations, because you seem like you know a lot about music. You know, you, you've you been doing your research, you've been studying some people. Let's talk about Hands Tied, the mixtape, uh -huh. where we can find it. You right. know, where we can download it, stream it, you right. know, and then get into a little bit about your social media handles. Alright, so everything as far as Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat is at JP the Kid. That's J P D A K I D. Um SoundCloud is J P D A K I D seven oh four. So JP the Kid seven oh four. You can stream the mixtape there for free. Um it's gonna be available for download also this week. So, you know, free music can't beat that. So no check sure. me out. Inspirations. Um underground, uh -huh. you know, mainstream, who you listening to, right. you know. Pick my brain a little bit, like, you know, get an audience something to think about. I bet. So, other than the main greats, you know, everybody got Jay, Biggie, okay. Pac, Nas, M, all those. Um, artists that, because I'm kind of more new generation, I actually listen to a lot of Joe Budden. I know that catches a lot of people off guard. Um, Joe's my dude, real personal. That's where I get a lot of inspiration as far as the deep music goes. Um, I was a Cole fan since the warm up days. So, I, I shout out to Cole, friend. North Carolina, what up? Uh, Drake fan since So Far Gone days. Um, as far as other underground artists that I'm really checking out, um, just about all of the members of Slaughterhouse when they was first coming up, I was big on them. So Royce the Five Nine, Joel Ortiz, they're all split. Let me stop. Yeah. How do you get introduced to that music? You know, being in a situation, your hands tied. You know, uh -huh. a lot of stuff. Is it a lot of uh, time on the internet? Is it a lot of you know? Search and SoundCloud, TV, like how, how did you introduce yourself or did somebody else, you know, um, put you onto a lot of uh, dope MCs? So what happened with that was, especially during middle school, early high school is when I really got big on hip hop. And I just really wasn't happy with how mainstream hip hop was sounding. That's when a lot of the dancing was going on, a lot of the, you know, it was a trend at the time. It wasn't nobody really rapping. So I was on a bunch of old school stuff, but I was like, you know what? Let me go on the internet. There got to be some dope rappers out there. So that's when I started checking Double XL out all the time, Hip Hop DX, Two Dope Boys .com, all those sites, and I just ended up finding dope artists. I was like, this is the hip hop we've been looking for. So luckily, lyrics are coming back. So that's how it came out. I know about the song J Cole wrote the Nas. Yeah. So you turn around and probably got inspired by that. We was talking off camera. You got a song called Message to Cole. Right. What's the message? Alright, so Message to Cole is actually a real interesting concept. Although he did did the letter to Nas, what mine's is based off of is 
on the come up, his first mixtape, he had a song called Rags the Riches, and it's like he left a voicemail on it. Mm -hmm. um, and this song in concept is a response to that voicemail that he initially left over the same beat. And if you follow me in my music, you know that me and Cole have ran into each other num numerous of times, got photos of him, gave him numerous CDs and whatnot. And that message is recounting all those times that I've given him a CD and that I've tried to rap for him on the spot and whatnot. So it's like a accumulation of all that and the fact that our our roads are so uh, excuse me our roads are so parallel. Okay. So um, the college thing, the me giving him CDs like he was giving Jay Z CDs, that whole thing, and it's just the. I All mean, of that. what do you think was should come out of it? Do you think mm -hmm. anything, if, if you know, y'all met again, do you think something would come out? Did, like, how was the yes. term of events? All right, so when I gave Cole that, uh, the last two times I met Cole, he has actually already had access to that song. I emailed it to Eve, Eve is his manager. I emailed it to RJ, who's also on the scene. So I don't know if he's heard it already. Um, I assume he hasn't, because I'm pretty sure he'll garner a response if he does. But um, if he were to listen to it, I mean, I, he'd at least have to show love, I think, so. For sure. It's so, a dope record. So we, 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 we've gone, you know, you met a, a lot of people, uh -huh. you know, small town, ECU, like you said, you attended there for uh, college, so, mm -hmm. like, every aspect have you been, you know, that's in your music. Like right. You say you got lyrical, turn up, this, that, and the third. Right. Give me a turn up situation, like, that you would rap about. Okay. Um, so... I went to ECU, as you mentioned, and a lot of people know ECU gets pretty lit. And not only that, um, I was involved with fraternities, I was involved with event planning organizations, and we threw hella parties. So initially, when I was in high school, I was all lyrical, only trying to rap about real stuff and whatnot. But I realized when I went to college and I got exposed to people that like to turn up, you don't want to hear real shit at the club, to be honest. You're trying to turn up and have fun. So as far as situations like that, um, my song Dreams of Cali's kind of turn up, and although it's inspirational, the beat is crazy, the flow is, um, parallels that. Uh, overtime is actually about putting in work at an office because I work full-time jobs and doing overtime, and I notice people like talking about getting money. Mm -hmm. So uh, mixing that while still being lyrical, I got on Rico, and on there I even talk about some college things and high school things that I was facing. So For sure. 2016 yeah. goals for you, man. You know, and let, let me know in the interview off with some 2016 goals for you because you seem like you know you're, you're, you're dope. Uh -huh. You know, you just need Appreciate that light. So 2016 yeah. goals, man. All right. So as far as 2016 goes, man, it's really all marketing. I dropped the tape uh, about two weeks ago, so it's brand new. It's just a matter of getting people to hear it out. Uh, so doing numerous shows, getting them out the blogs, uh, making connections, networking. I've met a couple big people the past two weeks. I don't want to really talk about it because I'm a big believer in speaking too early on things and it don't happen. Um, so all in end, you know, obviously I want a deal. So <laughs> that'd be great. Uh, so getting a deal and just building from there. Jay Alta, shout out to Pat is Dope. Follow him on Twitter and Instagram at Pat is Dope. And also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat at JPDAKID. Uh, SoundCloud is JPDAKID704. More music is on the way. Just because I dropped the tape don't mean I'm stopping. Statesville, North Carolina, we up 704. We in the building. We out.